This morning, federal regulators and Congress are, are reviewing potential whistleblower reports about the approval process for Boeing's 737 MAX jet. It comes as Boeing's CEO faces shareholders and reporters for the first time since the second deadly crash of its 737 MAX in less than five months. That led to the worldwide grounding of Boeing's best-selling plane. Chris Van Cleve is in Chicago for the Boeing shareholder meeting. Chris, good morning. Good morning. It is six months to the day of the crash of that first 737 MAX. And CEO Dennis Mullenberg will tell shareholders that Boeing's focus is on safety and the MAX, once this software update is done, will be one of the safest planes to ever fly. We'll also learn that the planes and that software update is ready for its final certification flight before it goes to regulators for approval. CBS News has confirmed within hours of Ethiopian investigators releasing their preliminary report into the crash of Flight 302, the FAA received calls from four potential whistleblowers. The current and former Boeing employees were concerned about potential safety issues surrounding the 737 MAX and its approval process. One of the April 5th calls included claims of foreign object damage to the wiring of the plane's angle of attack sensor. Those sensors appeared to malfunction on both the Lion Air and Ethiopian Airlines MAX, triggering the MCAS anti-stall system believed to be a factor in both crashes. Boeing says while it cannot verify that report, safety and quality are at the core of Boeing's values. Boeing has had issues with foreign object debris with its KC-46 aerial refueler and in some 787 Dreamliners. In 2017, the FAA found metal shavings in some Dreamliners Boeing certified as debris-free. Richard Mester was a technician at the 787 plant in South Carolina. He was fired last year. Would you fly in a 787 today? No, I wouldn't. Just because I don't feel like the company's putting the priority into quality. It's, it's production for profit. Boeing has started brainstorming with airlines and especially pilots about how to restore the public's confidence in the MAX when the planes are flying again. United CEO Oscar Munoz. It is a safe aircraft. We're going to let uh, not only the FAA but regulators around the world sort of declare that as well. Now, lawyers here in Chicago today are expected to announce another lawsuit against Boeing, this one on behalf of the 10 Canadians killed on board Ethiopian Flight 302. Nora? Tough to hear those details, Chris. Thank you.